whales evolving from land animals sounds pretty wild. So how are we so sure that it happened? There are actually a few ways that we can know. Let's start by looking at the fossils of whales and their ancestors. We know that these fossils belong to the whale lineage partially because of the presence of a particularly thick wall of the auditory bulla called the involucrum, which exists in modern whales, all of their fossil ancestors, and no other living or extinct animals in the world. Characteristics which show the relationship of different species in this way are called homologies, and the involucrum isn't the only one that we can learn from. There's also the hind limbs, which become smaller and smaller from species to species, all the way up to today, with modern whales still having a pelvis, a femur, and some species even still possessing tibia and fibula bones. And none of that even mentions the adorable little hind limb buds that whales still grow as embryos, just like any land animal would. And speaking of transitions through the fossil record, the nasal aperture slowly slides back across the skull from one species to the next. And when we test the stable isotope ratios of these bones, they show a gradual transition from life in freshwater to life in saltwater. These funky little deer things evolving into the largest animals on the planet sounds unbelievable at first, but when you learn the evidence, it quickly goes from strange to scientific. I mentioned stable isotopes in this video. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about those and what they can teach us about the history of life, head over to my channel and watch my collab video with Thought Cafe. Never stop learning!